Okay, so this room's gonna be a little bit echoey because I'm literally making this video in um, an empty spare room because I don't wanna show you how messy my bedroom is. So I'm gonna do a video about kind of reviewing Glossier, but like I know we're all done to death with people reviewing Glossier, but I'm in Australia and I don't know why, but for whatever reason they don't, this, this room's too echoey, isn't it? We're gonna have to change this. Yes, there's washing in the background and there's shit on my bedside table. So um, I'm a real human. We're just going to all have to accept that today to avoid the echoing. Yeah, so I, I have no idea why, but for some reason you can't get Glossier in Australia. And they recently expanded their shipping to like Sweden and some other places. But I, I, is it like our biosecurity? Like what's in this stuff? Like why? Like. It's 2019, like why can't we have international shipping? But anyway, I love I love the stuff, I love the aesthetic, I love what everyone does with it on their review. So I really wanted it. And the only way of getting it over here is you can, like legitimately, is you buy it from Glossier, you then have it sent to some like, it's like this Australia Post service where you get it sent to some P.O. box over in America or somewhere like that that they post to and then they send it from there to Australia but to do that it's like literally ends up being twice if not three times as expensive as the actual product is plus the shipping so it's really really expensive and not worth doing however um, if you go on eBay um, there are some people selling it there now the problem with eBay is like it's notorious for selling fake makeup. So this is about whether I think this stuff is fake or not. Um, spoiler alert, I, I don't think it's fake. Also, I'm a ginger now and um, naked because I didn't put my clothes on, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go dry my ginger hair and cover my body and um, I'll be back. I'm back. Um, I've managed to blow dry my new ginger hair. Um, I've lost my part now. What do we come here for? Glossier. So we're going to put on some Glossier products. We're going to talk about it. Ooh, my background. If I just sit in front of that, is that almost okay? Like we can just both pretend that my background isn't... Gross. Still a piece of garbage. Long hair is like a thick blanket that you wear for society. Glossier. I guess we'll just start at the beginning. A very good place to start. Also note that normally with my blonde hair, um, I could wear very different colours to what I have to wear now. Um, red hair really like throws everything off. Anyway, so I'll start with foundation. I'm a little bit shiny from the face oils that I wear that are probably snake oil but Dr. David Lim wouldn't lie to me. This. So I'm just gonna blot that with a bit of toilet paper that you normally wipe your butt cheeks with because I'm classy like that. With the foundation like everyone knows that like it gives FA coverage but I think it is relevant to say this that I don't really like foundation so I for myself think it looks I just don't like the look of it when I put foundation on myself. I like it on other people. Like I'm not like a foundation basher or anything. Is <laughs> that a thing? Like foundation bashers. Anyway, I don't really like the look of foundation. So I like this. However you want to apply it. Like we could do it Instagrammy if you want. Well, the other thing I like about this is you can literally put it on with your fingers. And it makes no difference than if you put it on with like a beauty blender. I think it's actually better to put it on with your fingers and beauty blenders. It can get a little bit oily, but I think that's also its gimmick. It wants to be a little bit dewy, you know, and oily, like you've just had a little bit of a jog. And I just mat it down a bit with my powder. What are they called? Oh yeah, translucent powder, but it's not really translucent. Whatever my powder is, it's just, a, um, I'll show you. I'll show you when we get up to it. I just like slap it all over my face and then I conceal anything that I obviously 
want to conceal and I just think that's a better approach with foundation in general like don't go in hard and then just color correct anything like don't you know you don't want like this canvas of one dimension like your face should look like skin still um, and then go in with your your concealers so that's there's the foundation like I haven't greased up yet but she will it just kind of it's like enhances whatever you've already got like just sort of smooths it over makes it look a bit moisturized S smooths out the color but it won't cover anything that you're wanting to cover I'm having a rough day today like I woke up this morning like I'm going to eat like a supermodel like from now on like it's this is gonna be a thing um, I got my boyfriend to run down and get a grapefruit thinking that this is it this is my new life this is who I am and then I dicked around for so long that I got so hungry that I didn't care about my new life as a supermodel anymore and then I went to McDonald's so that's how the day started not the best start oh I guess I should talk about the fact that is their stretch concealer I actually really like this I hate concealer um, just because whenever I try and do the under eye concealer thing um, it always dries out on me because I do have kind of like creasy eyes just who I am naturally and then you know mother nature's aging fun process doesn't really um, help with that so I think because it's such like a emollient I guess is the word kind of concealer rather than like a matte concealer like tape shape or something um, I think it's fairly forgiving on me I'm gonna go nuts I don't always do this I don't always do this but I'm gonna go under there and do that and again you can do it with your finger I would say though before you set this you should definitely go back over like lines that are gonna crease because they will like it creases it it sinks into creases a little bit but it's not too like what am I even saying contradicting myself it, it sinks into your creases but it's not like a drying one that's gonna give you like a big creasy face that might hurt who even knows anymore I think I literally conceal under here because everyone else does on YouTube and some women get red underneath their nose because it's like a hormonal problem and so I don't think I have that hormonal problem because I don't really get red there but I conceal there because I'm a sheep this will help with my sausage lip syndrome and then I like to just kind of brighten this spot because I have a bit of frown line yeah Yes, I would like a fucking cup of tea. A fucking cup of tea? A coffee? Is that what you said? A fucking cup of tea? Would you like one? Yeah. Yeah, I would like a fucking cup of tea. Yeah, okay. Your makeup looks good. Thank you. I'm recording. Huh? I'm recording. Oh, are you? <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, look at that. Um, I think it looks wonderful. See, my hair's a bit blue. Anyone else want a fucking cup of tea? This is where we're at and um, yeah, I mean you could put more concealer on. I don't, I, I like my skin to look like skin. I've said that a billion times. Okay, they get it. Anyway, so Glossier, like I really wanted to hate this company and I just can't like, there is literally nothing they've brought out that I haven't been like, yeah, pretty good. Like this not the most necessary thing in the world because it is so translucent but I don't really like foundation. Yeah, so I really wanted to hate Glossier just because it was so pumped up and everyone was so into it. And I'm like, these people must all be sponsored. And then they're, everything I've tried, I'm just literally like, okay, you win. Have my money. Go on. This concealer, my eyes don't look creasy and old and gross. Also great. These together are the best thing I think ever. Just because you can get rid of anything you don't want to be seen with the concealer and then still have a natural looking face base like win 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 <laughs> duh
winning. And I'll just set it with um, Too Faced. I don't love this. I'm just not going to throw it out. So I'm just going to keep using it until, it until it's done. So yeah, I would just like, you know, tap over or you can beauty blend over your little creasy bit. I go in pretty hard with the translucent powder. It's not really translucent. Simply because it is quite a dewy sort of foundation and if you are into that good for you but I just I don't know I just think my skin just sways to the more oily side in spot and so I go in pretty hard and then my skin will grease up and kind of even everything out later on now I should probably do all my wet products first but I forgot sometimes I do it this way you know so milk little bronzing stick I think this is something actually missing from the Glossier line like something kind of like this and if you want me to review this I'll just give you the quick rundown it's okay it's probably a little bit warm for me I would prefer something a little bit more torpy than this which is more to the warmy brownie orangey side of life um, but it's very 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 creamy very very easy to blend maybe even too creamy you know if there's such a thing but this is what I warm my face up with do you know what I want to get Rihanna's Fenty um, matchsticks I think they're called um, in the shade amber that looks like a really nice torpy colour and looks like you get a fair bit of product in the I mean obviously the one I had just there was the mini but get in there cheekbones act like you want it son this is how I try and like camouflage my double chin this stuff is so creamy by milk that you could like easily um, do it with your fingers and sometimes I do next we're gonna do I reckon the cheek blush these are probably my favorite things of all the Glossier things we've got cloud paint that's cloud paint they're all called cloud paint but um, I have Dusk, which is like almost a brownie, peachy pink. These are blushes, but you can also use them on your eyelids. I do. Um, this one's Puff. It's like a really pastel pink Marie Antoinette kind of pinky blush. Um, Dawn is like, if you want to do like, if you've got darker skin, this will give you like a nice little flush. On me, it's quite dark but I really like it in moderation with like a red or orangey sort of lipstick because then I just look really summery and almost a little bit sunburnt and like if you do everything super warm you can get away with that one and then this one's probably the best match for me in my situation is beams this is like a peachy pink and probably what I'm gonna do today and these look scary and like look look how much I'll use that much so this will last me forever I just kind of like you think oh no I've ruined everything how could this liquid ever blend out how could this ever be fine somehow it blends out and it's fine I think they look really natural because they're a, a cream product rather than like blush that's powder which I think when you put on it looks like you're wearing powdered blush and then you can even like go over your bridge of your nose a little bit if you just want to look a little bit flushed that you don't need much to just bring you into the world of the living you can just do it so whatever and I think that's the thing with Glossier products that makes them so good is it's so like slap it on rub it in get out the door like you're not gonna be like full-on glam face you know 
snatched to the gods, but that's not not what you're trying to do with them. So um, these are my favorite. This one, Dawn, that's a little bit more brown, I like to use on my eye. <laughs> you hear my boyfriend creeping upstairs. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I think like there are a couple of movies, a couple that I've directed and starred in. There are a couple of videos where you bring me smoothies. Are they? Mm. You can hear them creeping upstairs. Mm -mm. I'm constantly drinking smoothies in my in my uh, videos. Like, do you make me smoothies all the time, or is this just a coincidence? I'll, I'll make a few. You know, it's crazy. I'm drinking pure nutty Bruce myself. It's fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's actually almost better in a in a thing. It's not so sickly thing also is when you're doing like really like warm looks at the moment this looks a bit crazy and it needs to be a little bit crazy because by the time you've got eyeshadow and everything else on that's warm you want it to look sort of a bit more balanced out this is halo scope in moonstone the the more pale one of these super greasy but if that's what you want they're great for that really like wet dewy it's not going to show up on camera it doesn't really show up in real life it does it does kind of move your foundation around a little bit so you just got to be a bit strategic with how you use it so then i'm going to use dusk which is the brownier peachy kind of um blush as a base for my eyeshadow like I also use the really peachy one as an eyeshadow base it's also like the best quick eyeshadow if you want to just make it look like you've done something without really having to do too much it blends in really nicely so I'm just gonna use this it's just a transition shade it could be any sort of peachy brown transition shade I use this all the time every video I know it's boring I'm just going to use that to kind of make it look like I know what I'm doing with makeup because it looks blended if you do your transition shade. I'm just going to contour my cheeks a little bit more with this Lime Crime palette. Big giant forehead. All I'm doing is just mixing like a brown and then this like orangey colour. I'm going for a warm Ginger Megs look now. I'm just going to put this shimmery pink colour from Shell, from Shell, from this palette called Shell, in the middle of my eye. Could have used any shimmery colour, doesn't matter. Blend that in with my finger. Eyebrows. Ginger eyebrows. Don't really know how to do them yet. Still figuring that one out. So what I've been doing is just using this brown eyebrow pencil. I dyed them recently orange. But the Glossier Boy Brow, 10 out of 10. It's great. No complaints there. Really good colour for blonde hair. I have the one in blonde, obviously. I do sometimes, if I want a more dramatic brow, I'll draw it on a little bit, even with my blonde eyebrows. And then a Glossier boy brow over the top. This, this is what I normally use. I'm just gonna use a little spoolie from it. I've just made them dark brown. I haven't even, not even, I don't know. Just doing like a winged kind of eye shadow thing with just any brown, warm brown eyeshadow. So yeah, with them um, buying it off of eBay, basically, I don't think it's fake. I think there probably is some fake stuff out there. Um, I query some of the collab paints if they're real. But I'm pretty sure the other things are real. And they'd want to be because I'm paying like a lot more than what they are at Glossier. Because I can't get them to ship it to me. So, Glossier, get on that. Ship to Australia, we're, we're all waiting for you. So where the bloody hell are you? Desperately. I feel like I've ruined it by putting pink on there, but... As Bob Ross would say, it's a happy accident. Lipstick. 
So, the first Glossier one I got was this. This is um, Zip. It's their red colour. This is the best red lipstick I've ever managed to find because I'm like obsessed with red lipstick. But it's going to be like the right kind of red lipstick. Like, I don't want to be like, boom, because I've got such big lips, like two all lips. Like I want it to be like maybe I'm a teenager in the 1950s, Lolita, Lolita red lipstick inspo. This is the first style that they came out with and then they realised that like, you know, the lids were a bit shitty and cracky and I think the um, lipsticks were falling out for some people. I never had that problem. But anyway, they improved it and they made it a little bit more solid, bigger size. I don't know if the actual lipstick itself is more, but it looks like you get more. So that's like what they're doing now. So the second one I got was Cake. This is like supposed to be a peachy brownie nude, but on the paler side, when I had blonde hair, this was amazing. Now that my hair's a bit redder, it gets too washed out. I'll show you in a second. But this is great, the, the zip in the red. Once this dies, I'm gonna get another, keep getting them for the rest of my life. And then I've ordered the pink color. I just really like the formula, so it's like, sort of just like a wash of color like you've blotted lipstick off um not too heavy this formula is also better than you improved one it's a bit more moisturizing but it's a matte if that's so it's just it's just perfect like because i like the look of matte lips but then you walk around feeling like a crusted rust it's a desert all day whereas this gives you that look but it wears off normally and all that sort of stuff rather than like matte lipsticks that are just a chunk will come off somehow. So I'm gonna wear these together. And that's the other thing, I think these are designed to be like mixed together because they're different sort of colors of the color wheel. So this sort of nudie orange, if you mix this in with the red, you end up with like more of a darker peach. If you mix this in with the lighter pink, I think you'd be back down towards the pinky side, but you know, like, so you can collect them all and then create a million different shades at home. It sounds like I'm paid by them, but I'm not. I'm just obsessed. I don't even have like that 20% off thing because I don't ship to Australia. So, you know, so so you can see it looks like a natural lip color kind of like and like I said with my red hair it doesn't look as pink as it looks when I had blonde hair so it's sort of throwing off the color but it's it's still nice like I I think this is such a good everyday wearable kind of color. I might show it to you in like a light, a better light than this this room so you can see what it's So I'm back in the echoey room because it's the brightest. Um, but can you see how it's sort of like pastel but Peachy. I'm just moving around so you can see it in different sort of angles of the light. And it wears really well. It doesn't like come off weirdly throughout the day and then you just kind of like reapply it. The other thing I like to do is um, I will get the cloud paints and mix them into my lipsticks to like just change them a little bit. Like I really like um, putting Dawn with Zip, the redder of the lipsticks that I was showing you. I think that creates like a nice, oh, I can't even describe it, like um, dusty orange red. So I'm going to mix a bit of this in here. This is the Zip. And now it's like a more muted off red. 
So you can see how like I've put quite a lot of um, powder on, but I've already kind of oiled my way through there. I'm going to blot it again. I'm going to put some mascara on and then I will be back. Um, so I just brought you into the bathroom because it's better lighting and I've done some terrible mascara. I've got a new mascara and it's just the worst. I haven't tried the Glossier mascara but I think that's my next thing I'd like to get from them. But just mascara doesn't seem like it would be satisfying but see how this lipstick like the combination is it's sort of red sort of brownie nudie i guess wearable it doesn't look too crazy anyway so that's my review on glossier in short um yeah basically everything's as good as everyone says it is there's nothing i bought from them that i regretted probably my favorite brand hate to be so cliche but it's true i can't deny that um, everything that I've got off of eBay I'm pretty sure is um, is real and Glossier just you need to you need to get to Australia um, quick fast but yeah all right bye mm -hmm.